Hey guys, it's Tana. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some Valentine's cards. I say some. Uh, you're going to actually see me make a couple different background panels here, and then we're going to put together two cards. But I made like 10 or 12 cards all together with all the interchangeable pieces that I had from what I cut out. So I'll show you all those at the end. So I'm just going through these quickly. I made quite a few alcohol ink backgrounds. I tried to stick with color schemes like pinks and purples. Um, I did do like a turquoisey green one. That's this one right here. I did a couple of red, and one, red ones. One's a deeper red and one has brighter, lighter reds in it. And then I used some mirrored cardstock, just colored mirrored cardstock, some blue. It's like a royal blue. That one's by Tonic. I'll have everything listed below. And then just some stuff that was left over from Christmas packaging, uh, kind of a holographic uh, packaging. And there was one other one. Uh, right here I used some royal aubergine. Uh, Nouveau Mousse to cover a panel because I wanted to make sure that could dry completely and here you see on the left I did a panel with glimmer paste that did not work out well I'll show you that when we get to that in a minute so now I'm going to cover a toner sheet panel with pearl uh, deco foil I like this pearl, this opaque pearl, because if you put it over the toner sheets, it actually has a very dark tone to it. This is it right here. But when you put it on light paper, like we're going to do right here, it looks the way it was meant to look. So for this one, I just use a piece of the double-sided uh, sheets, adhesive sheets. This one, I think, is the... Uh, Sizzix Stick It or Ranger Stick It. I'll have it listed below. And then I just use my bone folder to adhere the foil on the sticky, other sticky side. And then we're just going to trim that down and carefully peel that off. Yeah, my voice is a little rough. Uh, you guys are not going to believe it, so I go to the doctor, I get antibiotics for my infection, and then the kids give me a cold on top of that the very next day. <laughs> It's like the worst year for colds for me. There's that piece of Glimmer Paste cardstock. I don't know what it was. Maybe I laid it on too thick. It was definitely dry. I let it dry overnight. It just was not cutting. It didn't matter how many times I ran it through the Gemini Junior. It just wouldn't cut. So kind of had to give up on that one. So here I'm showing you I cut this uh, die by my favorite things uh, intertwining hearts I think this wasn't called and I'll have links below um, to MFT and to Jamie's shop at Not Too Shabby because I'm pretty sure she carries this die as well and she's got a coupon code for you guys that I'll have down below and she's also got some a pretty cool rewards program so you might want to go check that out this is another double-sided adhesive sheet, something I got from my grandmother's stash. So now I'm going to start putting these panels on double-sided adhesive, and I'm going to start piecing together backgrounds. So for this one, I used the solid purple um, cutout from the Royal Aubergine panel. So that's what's going into that panel. And then I'm going to put the heart pieces, I'm going to use some holographic in the lower half. And then I'm going to put the matching pieces to the original panel back into the upper half. I tried to do it so that every panel, even though they have different backgrounds, also looked a little different in the way the layout was. So you, could, you guys can let me know below how, how well I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once you got going on this, I mean, when I first got this die last year, this is from last year's release. I, I'll real quick, here I am making a shaker, so look how shiny that is. You can see my face. It's a piece of acetate. 
I just clean off my acetate with uh, alcohol hand sanitizer on both sides, and that makes it nice and shiny and clean. So, what was I saying? Well, when I first got this dye, I thought it was kind of going to be difficult to piece back together, but it really is not. I was flying through these things after I familiarized myself the first time. Didn't take long at all. Looks like a lot of cards and a lot of time. I mean, normal amount of time for the amount of cards I did. And now I'm just going to double up my foam adhesive and start laying that around the back. Now, I made a mistake here. So when you put your double adhesive on there, if you're going to make a card like this, you do not want to put your, your foam tape in all those little pieces that stick into the center of the, the shaker card. I did that not thinking, thinking, well, the more I put, the more support it'll have. No, because when I put my pile of shaker bits in there, they got that foam tape got in the way. It still worked out, but it was a close call. So I'm just going to use some Nuva Deluxe adhesive to put that into the acid, you know, on top of the acetate and into the frame. And then I just take a cloth real quick with some hand, hand sanitizer rubbed onto it already just to wipe off any excess glue so you don't see it on the acetate. Now I have some uh, thread. Is this DMC? It's like gold metallic thread. I'm just kind of looping it to make a little design. I take a piece of double-sided adhesive and just wrap that around the edge so it doesn't unravel on me. And I've always had the gold. It wasn't until I cleaned my mother's craft room for her and organized it this summer that I realized there were more colors. I saw my mother had some in her stash, so I went and picked up a few more colors for my stash. And we'll be using those in a few minutes. So I just put some like purplish blue seed beads in there and then a little bit each of pink, um, purple, and yellow jewels. Um, some of them are Studia Katia. The yellow ones are Pretty Pink Posh. Then I put some sapphire jewels in there from Studio Katia. And then in the end, I put some sequins in there, just some different sequins from my stash. Light pink, iridescent. I wanted to go with the color scheme of the framed hearts. I'm going to put that on there nice and tight. And I shake it up, spread out the bits. So I took the little, I'm going to take the, I don't know if I already did, take the little thing off the double-sided adhesive, stuck that on there where I want it to go. And now I'm going to put Love You, which is a die cut I got a long, or a die I got a long time ago. I don't know where I got it from, but I cut it out of gold foiled packaging from Christmas. And I'm using the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to just put that down in the lower right-hand corner of the card. Well, this card, I think, is my favorite. So it's got a tonic satin black uh, mirrored cardstock front. <clears throat> but it has the, uh, sh the inside heart pieces of that frame we just used in the previous card. So it's got fabulous color. And the frame hearts, the intertwined hearts frame is like a gold packaging. We're going to use purple and blue metallic thread. And I'm just taking one strand. I cut off a, you know, like a good size strand from each little skein of thread. And then I take one strand out of each of those and just wrap them together. You don't need a lot unless you want a lot, but you don't need a lot. And I did the same thing formed it into a loop and put a piece of double-sided tape around it. It's also because it's late. My voice always sounds rougher at night when I'm sick. I don't know if that's the case with everybody. I didn't want this sentiment to pop out as much, so it says love you once again, but it's out of 
uh, mirrored black card sack by Tanix. So it's it's not the same type of card sack as the, the panel. It's a little bit shinier. Here's some pictures of all the cards. That was a quick video, guys. Thank God, because I don't know if I can talk anymore. Let me know what you think. Let me know down below. So anything that's not listed and you have questions about it, be sure to ask me and I'll get you a link to it because sometimes I don't have enough room to fit everything. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be apprised of all the giveaways, one every month at least. And I have still not heard from the winner of the glass mat. You have a couple more days and then I have to pick somebody else. So hopefully I hear from you soon. Bye bye for now guys.